Pin Pan Alley Cats is a Merry Melodies cartoon from 1943. It's directed by Robert Clampett and written by Warren Foster with a voice cast including Mel Blanc, Zoot Watson, The Four Dreamers and The Four Spirits of Rhythm. And this is the last of the 11 Censored 11 cartoons that I needed to see. And I can understand why it's part of the Censored 11. There are some moments that are okay. There are some bits of animation that are really creative, but also the creativity is definitely where they're focusing, as well as some kind of caricatures, which I'll talk about in a moment. And that means that I feel like the narrative itself is quite lacking. So for me, as somebody who's driven by a decent narrative, I didn't really find it entertaining, even if you take away the racist aspect. I just felt like the narrative wasn't that fascinating. But there are, of course, other issues. It actually started off really strongly for me, as it starts off with by the Light of the Silvery Moon, which is a song uh, that I absolutely love. And I thought, okay, this is not a bad start. And then the main, well, I was going to say the main narrative kicked in. There is a narrative, but it's not that interesting. But the main story kicks in and it definitely gets a little awkward. It's full of jazz music. Now, I'm not into jazz music, so I can't comment on whether it's a good representation of jazz but I didn't mind the music. And we have some characters playing instruments. The animation of the instruments are all really good. And it focuses on this cat character who IMDb describes as being like Fats Waller, which, yeah, I didn't Im- Im- immediately get that representation myself, but I can I can see that being the case. And he goes to this jazz club and he's playing music and interacting with the other characters. And then it does take a very creative turn towards the final cart- the final third of the cartoon. And I won't spoil it completely in case you do want to watch it. But I feel like there's not really much of a narrative. It's definitely more about the music, which is not a bad thing. And maybe a visual representation of what the animators were picturing while listening to the music. I don't know. That would be my loose interpretation. So that is all fine. The lack of narrative for me doesn't work very well, but I know not everybody needs a solid narrative when watching cartoons. But obviously the problem and the reason why it's a Censored Eleven cartoon comes from the depiction of most of the characters. We obviously have a lot of almost caricatures and over-the-top stereotypes. Occasionally it's okay. Occasionally it's not that bad. But a lot of it definitely is the way the characters are speaking is very exaggerated. And obviously the animation of a lot of their facial expressions is is very over-the-top and very overdone. It's not the worst of the Censored Eleven. And I do think the intention here was meant to be a celebration of jazz music and this culture. But there are ways of doing that without necessarily leaning heavily into stereotypes and I I don't think they got the balance right at all. It reminds me of one of the other ones and I apologise if I misremember this. I think it might have been Coal Black. Certainly it's one where it's got a similar concept of black characters playing music and actually a lot of black creators were involved in the creation of that cartoon and actually they did see it as a celebration of their music. So even though whichever cartoon that was, I'm sure it was called Black, but correct me if I'm wrong, that one, actually a lot of people did see it as a celebration even though they're the individuals being stereotyped. Obviously, that's not representative of everybody's response to that cartoon. But I feel like it could have been a similar situation here where they just didn't quite get the balance right. Some people are still going to be offended. But I feel like the attempt was to be a celebration. But they they just kind of went a little bit over the top. So I can understand why it's part of the Censored Eleven. And I don't think that they're being too cautious by making it a censored 11 but there are some moments that are perhaps not horrendous and I think the intention was good or at least I think the intended to celebrate jazz music and this kind of culture I don't think they meant to be offensive of course that doesn't excuse it but I think the intentions were not necessarily negative whereas there are some cartoons where they depict certain characters and There's nothing that they're trying to celebrate. That's absolutely the case with quite a few of them. This one, I think the intentions were good, but it just obviously didn't work out very well. And certainly for today, it doesn't work at all. So it's worth watching from a historical perspective. If you want to see cats playing jazz, then yeah, that's obviously something that's relatively interesting. But I think it's completely overshadowed by these 
almost caricatures of, of black stereotypes and that makes it a little bit awkward. So good music, some creative animation, but definitely not something that you can watch with the ability to ignore the stereotypes. It's very much at the forefront. And with this one, and this is not always the case, but with this one, I can certainly see why Tin Pan Alley Cats is part of the censored 11. <laughs>